Welcome back. There's no rounds and we pretty much just have to end the day. But things have not been going well. Um, Sheena is dead. Very much blood everywhere. But she did leave us a video. How we're going to respond on that, I don't know. It's very much like we've accused the headmistress, but what's going to happen as a result? Let's find out. Good work. Let's head back and rest. Tomorrow we'll be saying goodbye to this place. Will we now? Okay. Yeah. Rotty was without her usual cheer. It was expected from today's sudden turn. But moreover, she was raised here. She had said she'd follow us, but my heart hurt as I thought of how she must feel. However, Rotty, are you okay? I know it's hard, but... You're sick. Maya and I will be taking you outside. Uh, please forgive us. Yeah, I'm fine. Both you and Liliana are kind, so I know you're sympathizing with me. But it's okay. I've decided on this. I was surprised that Liliana was thinking the same thing I was. Sometimes it was hard to believe this girl was a child. Oh, my rotty Liliana. What good timing. Resident advisor. Your skirts had holes in them, didn't they? I patched them up for you. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're almost like boys. <laughs> Try not to sit on the ground in your skirts too much, alright? Liliana here. Wow, a whip spider toy. It's so ugly cute. Are we getting items because we kept them alive? It was being sold at a street stand. I'll give it to you. You like these kinds of strange bug goods, right? I'll treasure it. You all seem to be in low spirits. Huh? Tomorrow's the festival with the town and the whole dorm. Cheer up, okay? Let's go, Abby. Yes, sir. After smiling at us, the two left peacefully. Triple door. Leaving behind all these nice people. It's hard, but if we all move together, we wouldn't escape successfully. We'll probably be found by head maid Shizu, too. Tomorrow, as the headmistress is being taken away, we use that timing to sneak out. We have to survive first. And then we'll absolutely call for reinforcements and come back, okay? Yeah. Yes. Then, Liliana, we'll see you tomorrow. If there's anything strange, come right away to our room. Yes, good night. My Rotty. At night, I was awoken by a chill that covered my entire body. Well? Rotty, in the bed next to mine, for once hadn't kicked off her covers while sleeping. The hell? Creepy. It felt like someone was watching me just now. If when looking around the room, I saw nothing different. Tomorrow was our escape. Without much else to do, I slipped into my bed once more. It's a new day, everyone. The next morning, Carnival had finally arrived. From the room next door, I could hear the other students' excited voices. Liliana came to our room. Our luggage was the bare minimum. In order to not be suspicious, we only took our most valuable things and quietly left the room. No one's watching, right? Let's go. Y yeah A man with a cabbage <gasps> head, holding a fork, an angel with wings attached by a wire, a red faced demon, a large nosed fairy. The townspeople were wearing strange Halloween like costumes and they were parading around the streets, lively while dancing. I mean, yeah, that all seems familiar, doesn't it? It sure is busy. We might not stick out as much as I thought. You're right. Of course, you are on my side too, right? Mm. Uh-oh. What's wrong? My... I... It's nothing. Keep it together. If we don't succeed, all of our classmates will die. Mm. The inn where Eurisa is staying is on the other side of the highway. She mentioned wanting to take the headmistress there. We should hide out and wait. What the? The house is falling! Yeah! 
What was that just now? Wh what's happening? Walking along the alley and heading toward the inn, a cloud of dust had rolled out and was covering the area's field of vision. Gradually, the smell of burnt gunpowder also covered the area. Are you kidding me? One of the room's curtains were closed. If in the dark room, I was passing my time in the light of a lamp resting on the table. There. Now I'm ready to return to Japan. The only thing I have left is to make sure Midra doesn't escape. <sighs> Sheena! Sheena! <laughs> I just cannot believe it. It's unforgivable. I will never forgive them. That cold has poisoned this town. For everyone back home, I must stop them. Not just for Sheena and Mai, but for others who they may hurt. Oh, is it Mai and the others? They're early. All right, I should go. A cult follower. This is bad. I have to run. Uh. Ouch! Is this... The follower, without speaking, had taken the dagger in his hand and suddenly stabbed my side. Oh! Uh. My legs buckled from the sharp pain and lower body cramps and I collapsed where I stood. I was naive to think they wouldn't stoop to this level. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Alright, cal calm down, mate. No! Stop! Stop it! <laughs> no. That was right. It wasn't just Midra. These guys as well. They also killed Sheena so cruelly. Let my guard down too much, you idiot. Yeah? Maya and the others are in danger. What should I do? Can't stand. I'm going to be killed here. Can't go and protect those girls. Then, even a little. Maybe I can take them with me. I showed off the red cylinder I had taken from the man in the black outfit. Dynamite. <laughs> The black clothed man panicked and tried to escape, but I crawled along the floor and grabbed on with a deft grip. I won't let you escape! I won't allow it! You won't harm those girls! My... forgive me... I gathered the last of my strength and lit the fuse of the dynamite. It can't be. Mian collapsed. Do you think she's still inside? There can't be anyone in there, right? Broken wood and glass shards were scattered about everywhere. There was something else mixed in with the dirt, ash, and rubble. Something red, white, yellow, pink, and dark blue the sink of blood that hung over it. D don't look! It can't be! You three, get home! Children shouldn't be here! Let me go! Let go! Did you know them? I'm sorry, dear, but they didn't make it. Let me go! Let me go! In front of us was her corpse. Roddy, stay strong! Why? Why? Damn it! I'll make them pay. My, what should we do? Let's steal a car from one of the followers as soon as possible. I hear you. Roddy, please stand. Horrible. It's all horrible. Let's go. 
as I wiped away the tears that spilled out involuntarily at the back of my hand and turned to look at Liliana and Rotti. Much like a puppet that had its strings cut, Liliana crumpled to the ground. <gasps> Behind the collapsed girl was a person wearing a red demon mask. He was holding a one-handed hammer. <laughs> At the feet of a trembling, frozen Rotti, blood was trickling out of Liliana's head. Why you? Thing is, he said Barbus, not Marbus. Hmm. As I tried to grab at the man in a frenzy, he swung his hammer down towards me. Line, 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 line. I was watching the carnival. Everyone in the dorm was happily doing shopping, while out in the town were blowing bubbles. Or even kids who were enjoying buying and eating food from the stands first. They're all more excited than usual. Time passed, and at night in the town the festival continued. The streetlights were dark as usual, but today the festival's bonfire was also lit, so it was brilliantly bright. Lit by the wavering lights, one looking carnival continued on. Colorful masks and headdresses, dancing clowns, headless turkeys, and a person wearing a red demon mask. They all paraded around the town while dancing happily. The smiles of everyone in the dorm, too, were at their peak. Then the scene changed. Upon realization, it's in the hallway of Wordsworth. <sighs> Liliana, where are you going? In front of the first floor's fireplace. A dark shadow was standing there. Without any caution, Liliana approached with a blank expression. No! No, run away! <laughs> Liliana let out a scream and rolled around, but the fire did not go out. <laughs> Crackling and burning, the soot danced in the air, as if to drown out the young cries. The fire burned even more brightly. The shadow matter continued to watch us. When I woke up, I was trapped within a dark, abandoned house. Next to me, Rotty was also unconscious and was laid out on the floor. However, Liliana wasn't there. Perhaps because of being hit in the head, a sharp pain ran through my temples. The sky I could see from the window was already night. Had I been passed out? It was morning when we saw Eurys' inn burn. But how many hours had passed? What happened to the headmistress, the carnival, Liliana? The questions continued to rise in my head. Oh, ow! What's this? Electronic handcuffs? When I tried to move it vigorously, a sharp pain ran through my wrists, and I saw handcuffs with a keypad attachment. The handcuffs were attached to the wall by a wire chain. At this rate, it looked impossible to get out of this shack. Shit! With my hands bound, I can't type on the keypad. Rotty, wake up. You okay? Hey! I woke up Rotty lying next to me by knocking her with my body. My... My... Ow! Ow! My head! Easy now. Some creepy guy with a hammer snuck up on us. Uh, no way! W wait! I can't move my hands! What the- They're electronic handcuffs. They don't open unless you know the code. Interesting. The numbers are glowing. Like magic. Wait, where's Liliana? Not here. I'm worried. We have to find a way out of here. <sighs> Even when I tried with all my strength, it seemed impossible to forcibly remove the handcuffs. What should I do? Because the inn exploded? That we might be blown to pieces next? Yeah. Uh, no way! <sighs> There's no way that's going to happen. I won't die here. I tried to break the handcuffs by smashing it on the wall or desks, but it didn't budge. Does it smell like, like gunpowder to you? It's just your imagination. 
Detecting an electronic lock signal nearby. It may be possible to generate an unlock code, Mai. Mai? Mai! <gasps> Iris! Where have you been? My laptop switched on in my bag. Lucky me! Yes, lucky. Very, very lucky. Hmm. I stretched my leg out desperately in order to grab my bag which had been thrown in the corner of the room. It was very close, since my hands were affixed to the wall, but I somehow managed to reel in my bag. Point, by the way, laptops are very, very sturdy. This is the thing, by the way. This this is sort of like a... Pointing out how well Dell laptops are made. Like, so I've got a Dell, like, XPS 15 or 17 or something like that. Very, very well made. It has heating issues here and there, but it's not too bad. But, like, thermal is a problem is the best way of putting it. But, in actually, in terms of build quality, it's a fantastic laptop. Now, why do I say that? Because it was in my backpack when I got hit by the van. It only lost, like, a little bumper on the top. A bit of, like, the, um... The casing, basically. To just cover up the hinges. That's it. It works fine. There's been nothing wrong with it. It has been amazing. It has been lovely. So when I get hit by that van, I got more damage than a laptop, and that's just... It, it's a laptop. So, you know... Laptops are very sturdy, is my point. Using my mouth, I opened the zipper and pulled out my laptop from the protective bag. Morning, Mai! Morning! Appreciate the greeting. You're a lifesaver. Please, release me and Roddy from these handcuffs. I'm glad you weren't, like, there's no time for greetings. It's like, you actually like, yeah, hey, I appreciate that. A simple request. Wait just a minute. Issuing code. I'll send it via infrared, okay? <sighs> thanks. Wow! Thanks for all your help, little fairy! I, I have no idea how you did it, though. I was wondering if it was going to go a route of we would die as these two, but during the, like, death end for that, we'd get the code, and then we'd go back to a different choice and be like, What's the code? I don't know the code. And then we could enter the code. That would have been interesting to be like, we only got that code because of the death end. But no. Time to leave this shack behind us. I fear things on the outside have only gotten worse. For Liliana too. Yeah! Yeah! The door was unlocked, and we were able to easily get outside. Let's head back to Wordsworth. I bet Liliana's there too. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, well, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on this. You okay, Roddy? The person who killed Miss Yamamura. <laughs> and whoever locked us up. To think my mother is behind it all. I still can't believe it. After all she's done for me. <laughs> Roddy, who had been acting brave until now, must have been close to her heart's limit. She finally looked down and started crying. Roddy. Ooh. I feel like resting for a bit is probably the wrong choice, so... Wanna rest for a bit? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Under the moonlight, we leaned on the wall of the shack, and I patted Roddy's head for a while. Feeling better? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Let's go. After our break, Rotty and I headed towards Wordsworth. Liliana left. Okay, what does that cause? The midnight hour, of course, yes. Hello. It's right next to me. So we're, we're, we're going all the way back down there. What did that cause? Why? Why is nothing, like, even reacting to me? Like, not running away... It's not reacting at all. That's weird in of itself. Again, it's like... Stuff normally reacts to me in one way or another. Oh, a save point. I know. But... That's... The night town still bustled with the costumed parade. Were they planning on dancing until morning? The dream I had just seen. But Liliana burned to death. 
had a bad feeling. <gasps> What's going on? Clashing with the bright, lively music from the town, the front gates of Wordsworth had become a gruesome sea of blood. What happened? Ronnie, get inside! <laughs> oh! As we entered the dorm, the entrance hall was a nightmarish sight. Well beyond any other nightmare. The floor, the desks, the stairs, the pillars, everywhere. There were the bloodied and dead corpses of the dorm students and maids. Large wounds that seemed to be inflicted by an axe of some sort were over everyone's throats and chests. Blood had been splattered everywhere, cut down with shocked faces. <gasps> In the middle of the mountain of corpses, there was a human-like shape blackened and charred. A small girl, her exterior was so blackened, it was hard to see that she was human. From a part of the ashen clothing stuck to her, I realized that it was Liliana. Liliana! <laughs> it can't be! Why? She didn't deserve that! <laughs> In my vision, blurred by my anger and tears, I saw the dark shadow. You! I won't forgive you! Who are you? I'll kill you! In the hallway, filled with the choking smell of blood, I raised my weapon and confronted it. Don't lie! Run for it! What if that's trying to save us? The mist-like shadow, which I wasn't sure I could even hit if I swung my hatchet. Having seen the charred Liliana and sent into a rage, I had lost all power to make rational decisions. As I leapt at the shadow, it swiped its hand to the side in front of my face, and immediately my view turned 360 degrees, fell to the ground and bounced. I'm sorry. Well, that didn't go well, did it? I don't think it was trying to save us. It's just that sudden thought of like, maybe, maybe, maybe that, that, that it's someone we know or something that's clouded in shadows and we can't see th who they are and they're actually trying to save us this entire time throughout the entire game. Nope. There's no time. Having seen the nightmare of Liliana being enveloped by fire on the dorm's floor, couldn't sit still. What comes next might hurt, but we don't have a moment to spare. Got it? Mm. I'm okay. Let's go. That's it. Come on, take my hand. <laughs> Rotty, while still in tears, took my hand. The two of us, without resisting, headed off towards Wordsworth. Liana left. Midnight hour once again. Again, stuff still not chasing us. Which is just very, very strange. Like, it's the midnight hour, but carnival's happening at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's anywhere else we could go. Like, you know how this game is with its death ends and stuff like that. What if we tried to go somewhere else? Well, I've made a save, so. The night town still bustled with the costume parade. Were they planning on dancing until morning? The dream I had just seen, where Liliana burned to death, I had a bad feeling. <laughs> Clashing with the bright, lively music from the town, the front gates of Wordsworth had become a gruesome sea of blood. Oh, this is the problem that I just thought. Okay, so if she's if if Mitra is bathing in the blood of people, was it a bad idea to keep the students alive? Because that's more blood. Uh oh. In the pool of blood outside the door, there was a collapsed girl, covered in red. It was the resident advisor, Abigail. Abigail, hang in there. <laughs> 
As we entered the dorm, the entrance hall was a nightmarish sight, well beyond any of a nightmare. The floor, the desk, the stairs, the pillars, everywhere there were the bloodied and dead corpses of the dorm students and maids. Large wounds that seemed to be inflicted by an axe of some sort were over everyone's throats and chests. Blood had been splattered everywhere, cut down with shocked faces. Uh, Roddy, don't focus on it. The choking smell of blood was in the hallway, and without hesitation, Rotty threw up. <laughs> Mai? This isn't real, right? No, no way. There's no way. It has to be a mistake. The headmistress stood with a hatchet, splattered head to toe in blood, holding Liliana's neck with the other hand. Rotty hid her face with both hands and crouched down. The headmistress, having seen this, began to falter. <laughs> Rotty, such a shame for you to witness this. <gasps> the headmistress said something incoherent. Then she relinquished her hold of Liliana's neck. I approached and grabbed Liliana, then immediately distanced myself from the headmistress. She acted strangely, but kept her hatchet close. Liliana was alive. The blood from where she had been knocked out by the axe seemed to have stopped. Mistress had finally morphed into a shadow matter. What? She, she's huge! Oh! Then, lifting her hatchet, she assaulted us indiscriminately. <laughs> While carrying Liliana, I started running towards Rotty. Rotty! We have to run! I took the hand of the dumbfounded Rotty and burst out of Wordsworth. Why, mother? Well, um, sorry. We're going to end this part here. We'll see you in the next part. Oh, a save point. Oh, a save point. What the heck? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? I don't know. We'll find out in the next part. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>